Hi friends! A few days ago I was looking for a high voltage transformer among my radio components. But the last one I used in the previous project. It was too late to go to any store and I decided to wind it by myself. At first I took a compact core of TDKS. Frame I'll do from old marker. Wire must have a good varnish insulation and a diameter of about 0.18 mm. Additionally, I need two pieces of high voltage wire, about 10 cm each. I took out them from the old ignition unit of Xenon lamp. They are elastic and in thick insulation. Each transformer has a primary and secondary winding. Now I'm going to do only a secondary high voltage winding. Data of the primary winding will be found experimentally later. At the beginning, soldered wires together and isolated with two layers of heat shrink tubes. I fixed the wire to the frame with tape. Reel up carefully, turn to turn. I was in a hurry and my coil looks not so well. I must say that I have smart winder. But it is necessary to remove the coil each time to make it layer insulation. It is much faster to do job manually. The total number of turns of the high voltage winding is 1100. We must reel up layer after layer. Every layer contains 70 to 100 turns. The fixed high voltage wire forms an evenness that prevents, that prevents smooth winding. Therefore, the other half of the frame was aligned with insulator. Continue winding from left to right or vice versa. During of the winding, wire is never cut off. Between the layers, make the insulation with duct tape. I don't advise to use fluoroplastic insulation because it is too light to the layers. But we will feel the resin at the coil and it is necessary that it is penetrated into the interlayer space. In addition, fluoroplastic insulation is easily destroyed. It is enough about 5 layers of insulating tape. We go on so to 1100 turns. At the end, solder the second high voltage wire and insulate with heat shrink tube. Put extra insulation beneath. Now we have to assemble a transformer. There is an important point. I'm going to use a transformer in the push-pull circuit. So do not need a gap between the core halves. If used in single-ended scheme, the non-magnetic gap is needed. Gap value is depends on many factors which must be taken into account before to wind the transformer. Core halves glued together with superglue. It will not allow the resin to penetrate between the two halves and create unnecessary gap. Then I made a carton box in which we fill transformer with resin. Additionally, it is sealed with duct tape. Made two holes to output wires. They also sealed at first with quick drying resin and then with an additional glue. Before pouring resin, don't forget to check the integrity of the winding. For the filling, I used an epoxy resin in a ratio 10 to 1. It dries fully overnight, but it is possible to heat the mixture to 40 or 50 degrees to speed up the process. Although to sip into the interlayer space takes time, so it's better not to heat. But I was in a hurry and heated a little, and all dried at 2 hours. Cut off the box after drying. To check the device working, I reel up experimental primary winding. We can see that there is no arcing in the coil even if high voltage wires move to greater distance, so all safely and securely. Now our transformer powered by a more powerful generator. The same effect can be obtained from the microwave transformer. Feeling is well. 
all air bubbles accumulated at the top at bottom is almost no air. This transformer is wound for an experimental Tesla coil. Thanks for watching. With you was Kasyan TV.